to be a biologist or a physician, that always begins with the art of observation. I've been teaching for over 50 years, and I've always had an interest in uh, the representation of what I was teaching in biology and in medicine, and the representation of that in classical art. Not for the purposes of illustrating, but uh, what we might uh, refer to as sort of inadvertent depictions of uh, human disease or health, uh, that maybe that wasn't the intention of the artist when they created the painting or the sculpture. The field of artwork and then the field of medicine and biology definitely don't seem to always be naturally in conversation, um, but because those were always two of my passions, I've always been trying to put those two together and create some sort of amalgamation of those fields. Um, and then luckily I had this opportunity with Dr. Witters to, to finally pursue that more formally. I had accumulated a number of images that I thought fit that definition over my many years of teaching. Uh, but always wanted to pull it all together uh, in some way, but I needed help to do that. We discussed potentially a book, but realized that wouldn't be able to be something that we could evolve in the future. So we landed on creating a website. And then from there, it was a lot of figuring out what categories we wanted of illnesses. So we were narrowing down what images we had, which ones we wanted to use, what we thought our audience would be receptive of. And then Dr. Witters did a lot of writing up on background of the illnesses. This is one of my favorites uh, here, this uh, painting of Queen Henrietta Maria, who was the wife of Charles I, portrayed here with a fellow named Geoffrey Hudson, who was actually knighted, so he became Sir Geoffrey Hudson, uh, who was uh, adopted by the royal court because of his appearance. You might initially look at this and say, well, that's a small child. But the truth is, at the time, he was 14 years old. He's proportionally short. That By that, his height above his waist and below his waist are of the normal proportions that we might have expected. Uh, there are many, many causes of short stature, but that's a signature, in fact, that he was probably deficient in growth hormone. Definitely one of the images that stood out to me when we were doing our research was Bathsheba at her bath. When you look at her left breast, you could see that there is a mass on the side of it. Very probable that that is breast cancer. And then if you look even further, you could see that there is swelling under her arm, which is the auxiliary lymph node. And that's also indicative of breast cancer. And the extension of the website was in creating the displays which you can see in the gallery of the Life Sciences Center in an interactive way uh, to, uh, to broaden the educational impact of what we've done.